gahunda. And we thank our, uh, the Lord of the service for today. And please forgive us enough time to speak the, the, the word of God. Uh, before we say anything, we're going to give our condolences. But there's still hope. And the promises that we have in that area, they're going to be fulfilled. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, as I said, we're so thankful for this morning. And I also want to welcome in this time. Uh, this is a time that Satan usually distracts a lot of people. And people usually get distracted. Uh, there was uh, a businesswoman. Uh, and she said whenever, whenever they start preaching uh, she, she goes to, to the market and she goes to buy her kabiri, and she goes to the second one ngo, when they say amen <laughs> and she knows that she has been gained something or lose uh, we're not in that category and the good thing we're here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go deep and do this. Amen. Amen. We start by the G. Let's uh, read the word of God. We're going to read in the first Kings. Uh, uh, verse, uh, chapter 21. Chapter 21. Verse 1 through 6. Uh, and Pastor Claude. And please read, a, read Hebrews for us. Chapter, chapter 6, verse 11 through 12. Okay. Let's, let's read in. First Kings, verse 21. Naboth. Uh, uh, and the Kugwa gakondo ya waso kukuruza banji. Maze ahabu ataha afite agahinda nuburakari. Kugwi jambo nabo uti uye zereri ya mugie ngo. Sina guha gakondo ya waso kukuruza banji. Nuko ariyama kugisa siroche yereke yivure. Yanga kugira itu afungwa. Hanyuma umugorewe ya zeberi araza aramu waza ati. Niki kiguteye agahinda kakubuza kurja. Amen. Amen. Pastor Claude, please read in Hebrews. Chapter 6, verse 11 through 12. Haravuga ngo, ariko rero turifuza cyane ko umuntu wese wo muri mwe yerekana uwo mwete wo kurinda iziringiro zazuye kugeza kumperuka. Kugira ngo mutaba abanebwe ahubwo mwere ahubwo mugere ikirenge mucabaragwa amasezerano babiheshejwe no kwizera no kwihangana amen amen thank you pastor uh, we may read in english uh, it's 1 
1 Kings chapter 21, 1 through 6, it reads, Sometime later, there was an incident involving a, a vineyard belonging to Neboth, ne uh, the Jesuit. The vineyard, the vineyard was in Jezreel, close to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Neboth, let me have your vineyard to use for a ve vegetable garden since it is close to my palace. In exchange, I'll give you a better uh, vineyard, or if you prefer, I'll pay you whatever it is worth. But Neboth replied, the Lord forbid that I should give you the inheritance of my ancestors. So Ahab went home uh, sullen and angry because Neboth the, the Jezreelite uh, had said, I will not give you the inheritance of my ancestors. He lay in his bed, sulking and refused to eat. His wife Jezebel came in and asked and asked him, "Why are you so sullen? Why not? Why why won't you eat?" He answered her, "Because I said to Naboth the Jezreelite, sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I'll give you another uh, vine." vineyard in its place but he said I will not give you my vineyard. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, we're going to share the word of God with him. I want us to, to, to stay in the same spirit. Uh, the topic for today uh, to maintain what you have been given. To maintain what you have been given. In parentheses, uh, there's a salvation that you have been given. There's a gift from God that you have been given. And there's also values of Christianity that you have. Uh, which means if you don't have this thing, uh, which means this time does not, does not concern you. And if they, they push you and, and you, 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 you're saved, so you can gain th those values of Christianity uh, to maintain what you have been given. Uh, we came to read the word of God. Uh, these are the, the news of Naboth. It is a, a, a news that we hear, we're familiar with. The Bible told us there was a man named Naboth. He used to live in, in, in Jezebel, uh, in Samaria. Samaria. He had a, a vineyard. The vineyard was an, uh, was an inheritance from his ancestors. Uh, there are uh, things that he used to do. The first thing, he used to, to take it as an important thing. The second thing, he guarded it. The third thing, and he used to work for it. And I want us to understand these three things. The Bible tells us the first thing. He, he saw it as a valuable thing to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He, was, uh, he took it as, uh, he saw it as a very an important thing. To him. And the, sec the, the second thing, he guarded it. To guard something, there's a lot of things. Maybe he, he there was a fence, thank you. And another thing, he worked. Maybe he used to, to water the vineyard. He did everything he could to maintain it. And soon after, and soon after, a king of that, that, that area, Ahab, and he came to visit him. 
and he told him not, uh, uh, my, my purpose of coming I want you to give me, to give me your, your vineyard hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he said, I want you to give me your vineyard. But he did not finish. And he said, I'm not asking it for free. I'm going to give you something in return. I am going to give you something bigger than this. Also, if you don't want, I'm going to give you money. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, I'm going to give you something in return. Or if you don't want, I'm going to give you money. And Nabot, he did not care that the king came to visit him. He did not care who the king was. And he didn't even want to deal with the, the king. And he didn't even want to negotiate. He went directly. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it is forbidden by, by my God to give you the vineyard of my ancestors. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is forbidden by, by God to give you the vineyard of my ancestors. Because this is an important thing in my life. This is a, an inheritance that I have given. This is an important thing that I have been given. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And he said, I usually take care of it. I, I usually guard it. It is forbidden that I give you this. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, it is for, for, forbidden by God. Uh, to take to take uh, to take advantage for granted. Hallelujah. Amen. It is forbidden to take the salvation that we have to take. It is forbidden to take advantage of the gift that we have been given. It is, it, it is forbidden to lose the values of Christianity. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And another thing that is very important. Nabot did not take long to respond to the king. He did not go around the bush. Because it is something that was within him. And he said it is forbidden to give you the, the vineyard of my ancestors. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the, word, the word of God is wanting to show us. He wants to show, he wants to tell us we should take the salvation that we have been given. We need to maintain what we have been given. We have to maintain or to keep what we have been given. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, in the book of, of Judah, in the book of Judah, uh, uh, chapter 3, uh, when he found out where the, the righteousness were, where, and there are also hypocrites among them. They were, they were uh, kind of like uh, pushing them away from what they had been given or known. They were, they were being taught different lessons uh, from what they had been taught. And Judah wrote to, to all the righteousness. And he 
And he said, I wanted to, to write to you those that we shared the salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. And I wanted to, to, to write to you those that we shared salvation. Pat, you're going to go and go. And wanting to let you know to guard. Kurinda kuize abera ba hawe rimwe gusa. To to guard the salvation or the thing that you have given once. Arabu gira ngo hariho kuize abera ba hawe. And he said the righteousness have been given one uh, faith. Hariho kuize abera ba ba menye. There is a faith that the, the righteousness have been known. Haris chomga menye. There is something that you have been known. Haris chomga abgiwe. There is something that you have been told. Ndagira rangu mbashish karize. And I want to to let you know. Bukomera kuri choki inu. Kuko ngagi hawe rimwe gusa. Because you have been given it once. Ni muramu kama gita kaje. If you lose it. Hago muzonge akibon. You will never regain it. Hallelujah. Amen. Tugire utu. Let's all do this. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Arabu gira ngo timu bikinishe. When you take this for granted. Timu ite kura abakozi binyoma. Do not pay attention to those. Abanga warimu abu gira ibitanda kwenye mtu abu gire. Those people are telling you diff, uh, different things than what we told you. Ahubwo ndabahugurira gushishikara. But I I am um, I'm telling you. Kurwanira kwizera. To fight for your salvation. Abera bahawe rimwe. That the righteous have been given. Kuzageza iteka ryose. Until the uh, eternity. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Niki mudusaba rero. What is needed? Biravuswa gukomeza cyo twahawe. Uh what is needed is to maintain what we have been given. Biravuswa ku maintaining. You have to maintain. Gufata to maintain what you have been given. What you have known. Do not take it for granted. Because you, you won't have any other opportunity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have a lot of uh, ev uh, evangelists who have been trained. Or I do not read it anywhere. And evangelists are Billy Graham. Uh, they ask him, we see you are very popular. You're done, you, you're very well known. Why can't you, why can't you uh, run to be the president? And he responded. And what can make me to become a king of big nations. But as a sinner, and he said, I would, I wouldn't love that. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because if, if I go into, if he goes into those things, he will not be able to figure out if he goes into those things. He's going to lose some of the values of Christianity. And he said, what I want to be, what I wanted to be known. Yes, what I wanted to be known. Yes, what I wanted to be known. If I can be called as a sinner, I wouldn't love that. Hallelujah. 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 It is a news that we read everywhere on social media. And he, the news says he was, she was a beautiful girl. The second thing, uh, she was beautiful girl. She had values uh, of the Christian people. She had values of the Christian people. She had values of the Christian people. She had values of the Christian people. She is very educated. No, no. And she was recommended to the king. They, they told the king that there was a beautiful girl that you should marry. And soon after, the king and he sent somebody go, go ask for the go, go, go take Oh, uh, handy marriage, thank you. But again, da, they went. Uh, they went with the, the they went in. And 
And after they got they, 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 they said the mission of the, the, the purpose of the <laughs> uh, when they were saying what, what led them there <laughs> and the parents were so happy <laughs> and we're going to get rich <laughs> we're just receiving money <laughs> we're going to feed the in-laws of the king <laughs> and the girl over there <laughs> And she was laughing at me. And she said, I am a Christian. That is a thing. That is very powerful in my Hallelujah. life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And she said, I'm a Christian. And I will always be a Christian. In everything. Until I die. And she also said, I am a Christian. And I will testify that. Even if people make fun of me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is the, the only reason that the girl. Why? Why? Why did she say that? Thank you. And what was the reason why she said that? Uh, that girl, there's something that she had known. That she valued. And she always guarded. And she always uh, worked for. Hallelujah. Amen. And she, she responded very directly. She did not go around the bush. She did not think about she it. Did she did not ask what she was saying. No. She said no. And she said, I am a Christian. I cannot go uh, polygamy. And it is forbidden. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because she wanted her to be the third wife. And she said, what I have known is something that is within me. me cannot allow me to be the third wife. To, to be the third wife. Hallelujah. Amen. Nabot said, it is forbidden to give the barnyard of my ancestors. It is forbidden by God uh, to take the salvation that we have given. It is forbidden. Hallelujah. To, to take, take for granted the, the, the work that we have been given. Uh, the, the gifts that are within us to take them for granted. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The thing that is very hard in this world that we live in with the technology that we have a lot of people they're, they're, being, they're using what they have to use in different ways and someone can sell they're selling to sell the gifts that they sell they're selling the salvation that they have uh, they sell all the values of Christianity that they have just for nothing uh, for nothing for something that is not important and you give up everything just for nothing for something that is going to end let's all do this hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 What, what is it needed from us? Like people, people, who, have have known known like people who have been given salvation. Uh, like people who, may, who have been given something. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to work hard. In order to commence to maintain. In order to maintain. The things that we have been given. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Ndagira ngo tuganire ibintu nka bingahe bishobora gutuma ukomeza ico wahawe. Talk about a few things that can help us maintain what we have been given. Ni byinshi nawe wakongeraho ibyawe. Ah there's a lot you can you can add more. Ah ukuye gusenga ni jambo ry'Imana ari 33 nshaka ko tuganiraho. Apart from praying there's there are three things that I want to talk about. Za dufasha that can help us ukomeza to maintain what we have been given. Hallelujah. Amen. Are, are we Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, the first thing that can help us what we have been given it is something that you, you must lose something. There is something that you can lose. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Umun baramu girango somebody tells you we have rehearsal on, on Friday or, or Saturday just for two hours uh, just for two hours in those two hours it is uh, the time that I go shopping at the African store amen and those hours that you plan to go to, to have a that's when I work shopping. overtime. That's when I work overtime. No, no, okay, and you wonder if those two hours if they're written, the, the schedule to be to be worked, if uh, Friday morning if you, if you can do uh, in the morning instead of that time. There's something that is that is required. There's, there's something that you must lose in order to gain something else. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Our youth. Abandi uh, People are cooking it to go to the night to the nightclub. Let's go to the nightclub. Oh, we got no jewe. And you tell them, I am a Christian. And they tell you, ah, yeah, you're stupid. You are stupid. I'm from the countryside. Uh, you're not civilized. Yes, you're not civilized. Thank you. But you, you, you decide to what other people are doing so that way you can save what you have been meant to, what you have maintained. Hallelujah. Amen. You, you agree to leave certain things. Things that are very important to you. So you can keep what you have been given. Hallelujah. 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 Paul in the book of Philippians 3 and 7. Uh, Paul was an intellectual uh, man. He was a, 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 a lawyer. He knew all the, the law of, of Jews. Uh, he was a very uh, advanced person. And there are things, a lot of things that he had to do. He told them. He wrote and said. And he said there are things that I lost. It, uh, because I have known Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And he said there are things that I've that, that lost. There, there are things that I've lost. So I can keep Christ. Amen. Amen. This is a good example from the Bible. He is a needed person in society. He was an, he was an, oh, he was an, an important person in society. But he said, because I have known Christ, those that were very important to me, things that I loved, things that I, uh, that I, things that I followed, things that I used to share with other people, and he said all those things, and it became a loss for me, because I have known Christ. Hallelujah. 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 In order to maintain what you have been given, it's because you have to, you must lose something. Amen. 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 If you don't, if you don't lose, if you don't lose something, you cannot maintain what you have been given. Uh, in order to maintain that, you must lose something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is to change how you think. Uh, the thoughts. It has a, a big, a big 
Trust the Lord. In, in, in things that we have done, done or something that we have known. Hallelujah. I, I want you to understand this thing. Your house. Even here we are, where we are. Tell us your, your, your neighbor, what are you thinking about? Uh, are your thoughts here? A lot of people a lot of people have sickness in them in their body. They have thoughts that are sick. Uh, they have a, a personality disorder. Oh, personality disorder, thank you. Uh, most people, they have personality disorder. When they say personality, when they say personality, eh? personality yeah. is one who you are. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. You have one personality. One personality. It's uh, something that uh, your thoughts, the way you think, shapes who you are. And that's how the society is. And that is what uh, displays or uh, manifests. And you, you see somebody who's working for God. And they don't think about it. Their fingers. Not even one day. That they think about the word of God. And you see somebody is a pastor. Just in, in, in suit. And a, a tie. And no one, one knows that they think about the word of God that they're leading. And that person, I would say, that person has a personality disorder. Yes, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That person has a problem. If there is a, uh, a work of God that you do, if you're a singer, if you're a deacon, and you don't have time to think about what you do, you still have a problem. Uh, 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 personality disorder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Hallelujah. Are we together? Another thing that personality do. Namara uh, emo Emotion. Thank you. The, the way you react. When somebody tells you something. Uh, one older woman said. And she said, I do not understand French. Uh, because she, she was a Catholic uh, woman. And she said, I do not understand French. But when somebody cursed me in French, and she understands. Hallelujah. Amen. There are a lot of people. And they tell you, you're late. Quite they say, me. Me, somebody. Me, somebody. Uh, such and such, you're going to see me. And that person, uh, she's a singer. She's a servant of God. Hallelujah. Amen. How can that person maintain the burdens of Christ? How can that person maintain the burdens of Christ? How can that person maintain something that, that, that they have been given? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's all do this. Amen. Amen. Another thing that personality uh, does, it is a way that you, you take decision and make decisions. I'm just talk, talking about singers, but it's everyone. And they tell you you're late. And they say, I'm, I'm late. And they say, I'm, I'm leaving. And you in your choir, just go. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, neho, ubo, basha kume njima na bako risugu genge bugao. They wanted to know God using their intelligence. Buke, yengu, bale wanubi kori nito batangi la kuzani minu, jema cha kubiri muribo, kumasore bari wanini. And soon after, they start bringing, creating division among them. Bango wakavuga ngonjewe ndu, ndu wapolo. And some people say, I am, Unda wakavuga ngonjewe ndu wakayafa. And I am, Undi akavuga ngonjewe ndu wapolo. And other people say, I am, Apollos. And when Paul found out about those news, and he said, he told them, me, Paul, nobody was baptized under my name. Nobody was, was baptized under my name. And those who say, I am Paul. And he said, I, was, I have been called. Kuvuga ubutumwa bwiza Fit to share the good news. And the, the good news that, that, that I share, I, I don't use any intelligence. Uh, so the cross of God cannot be taken for granted. And he showed them that no God, you don't have to use your intelligence, but there is another intelligence that you must use. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's all do this. And he also told them, uh, told them about spirit. And he also told them about spirit. And he also told them about spirit. Also said, who among you has been known what God was thinking or is thinking and advise him? And he said, us. We have to think. Hallelujah. Amen. And us, we must think about Christ. And that is a thinking that does not have a personality. And that is a person that, that, uh, thing that does not, that is not fit. Fit. Us who must think about Christ. When you have changed your thoughts, something that changes. When you change your thoughts, Hallelujah. Amen. And there is something that you do differently in the house. When you change your thoughts, you, you, you are given promises. Abraham, the, the Bible tells us Abraham was the only person who seek God with, um, um, without being told. He's the only person who seek God without being told. Uh, the place that they went, uh, the place that they, they lived, uh, in the, the Kardai, they used to, they, they used to have God. They, they had a factory that, that to, 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 to factory, to eh? Like factory that we, we all know. If you are going to a line, lines. Just <laughs> line, we are going to of God. When the line, we are going to make guru. Maybe one 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 used to do the line. Or another one used to 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 do all the parts together. And that is the, the the life that they used to live. Okay. And soon after. And he thought. And he said, maybe there is another God who created heaven and earth. And God that, that, that they don't pull outside and, and inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
by changing his bowels. But when he turned in his heart, and God saw him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, after he changed his bowels, God saw him. Called him. And he introduced himself to him. And he said, I am God who created earth and, uh, earth and earth and earth and heaven. I am the God that is not, pull, uh, that, that is not created. And he said, hmm. So from there, and I'm going to show you where you're going to live. And God gave him a message. Let's all do this. Hallelujah. 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 When you have changed yourselves, there is something that changes uh, about your life. God gives you promises. Uh, we sang a song that says, even though the promises might take long, but they're going to be fulfilled. Hallelujah. When you have changed your thoughts, when you have changed your thoughts, you do the work very well. Yes, I see. There's nothing else that can help us to maintain what we have been given. To maintain what we have been given. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all do Uh, Jesus' disciples they, uh, died because of the word of God. The scripture that we read, the, uh, the king went back to God. And when, when he got home, his wife asked him, Sir, and he responded by saying, It is because. I want to give vineyard because Nabot said he cannot give me his uh, inheritance. And you know what followed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To maintain uh, uh, the property what we have been given, we must move something and then change our thoughts in order to maintain what we have been given. The last thing, please uh, sing and come forward, is uh, to make promises. Is to have promises to good promises to him. Uh, to uh, want to do good. It's not surprising that a person uh, you might be in church and you have something that you do, but have good intentions. And they don't want the, the, the work that they do to advance. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is, it is usual. What is needed from us to make promises. Do the work have been given very well. Uh, promises. To always do what we have uh, we have been given. There's another song that the singer sings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a song that the singer sings. Uh, a person that they, that a person called Daniel. Bible says that when God gives us a word, uh, He gives us a promise. He gives us a promise. Well, says uh, uh, well, the song. The song says that sometimes God gives power to enemies so they they can capture. Bible says that 
get um, well alone, Nebuchadnezzar to be taken captive. And he went and captured the king. He took other people. The thing. And they took him. And they when they got there, the king uh, commanded and he, he told them, find me good men of Nagano uh, who come from the kingdom, uh, men who are intelligent, who knows what to do. Daniel and then Daniel was among them. And he, uh, the king also said, and he said, bring them here and train them. So, and even let them, allow them to eat the food that I eat, even the, the, the wine that I drink. And Daniel made him promise in his heart to never eat the, the, the food from the kingdom. They saw do this. Uh, to make a good promise. It is something that allows us. Hallelujah. Amen. To maintain what we have been given. To maintain what we have been given. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 It is forbidden. To lose the, work, the work of God. It is forbidden to take for granted something that we have done. It is forbidden to take the work of God for granted. Uh, to take for granted the, the, the gifts that are within us. What is needed is for us to lose something. So we can change our task. Uh, the task that can, that can allow us to enter into promises. And, and then have good promises. May God bless you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us let, let me ask us to, to sing this song and then we're going to pray after.